Well, one of the most important issues facing the nation is how to provide basic health care for un underserved communities most at risk for chronic diseases. Here to discuss this important issue is Dr. Garth Graham, a national authority on the health dis uh, disparities and the president of Aetna Foundation. Here to talk about Aetna Foundation's Healthier World Innovation Challenge. Good morning, sir. Coming from Washington, D.C. First, tell us uh, why do so many people in underserved communities face disparities in health care? Sure. So, and there are a number of reasons for that, Tom. Again, thank you for having me this morning. So one is access to care, and a lot of folks um, from poor and other underserved communities feel disconnected from the healthcare system and don't have access to regular care. On top of that, many of these individuals suffer disproportionately from diabetes, hypertension, heart disease, and all the other things that um, affect many of us across the country. So it's really important that um, we all pay attention to the needs of these communities and help develop strategies to make them healthier. A wonderful, wonderful program, that's for sure. How can technology, and I'm, I'm kind, of, kind of guessing maybe the internet, maybe uh, emails, uh, maybe Twitter, but how can technology have an impact on chronic diseases? Yeah, so technology can be potentially a very powerful tool. So if we look at, to say, or even our cell phones, you know, um, um, it's so ubiquitous in our daily life that we use our cell phones for all kinds of different information. And so then you think, you know, what if we use um, something like our mobile phones to empower people to make healthier decisions, so giving them the right kinds of information um, to make, you know, healthier choices about what to eat and, you know, better places to exercise and all those kinds of things to make them healthier. What would you empower them to the information? Um, that's a lot of potential power in terms of making folks make the right choices for them. So technology we see as a potentially very powerful tool uh, for making people healthier. Exactly. Empowering the folks that are out there that need the education, that need to be taught, because a lot of them grew up eating unhealthy foods, not That's getting right. out and getting enough exercise. But if you can get out there and, and teach the people and train the people and inspire the people on becoming healthier, that's what it's all about. Now tell us also, what are some of the examples of how the Healthier World Innovation Challenge can help improve the health of our American citizens? Sure. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to find those bright minds across the country who have been working on technology and other kinds of innovative ideas and to give those folks funds to work particularly in underserved communities where folks might not traditionally have access to health care and to work within those communities to make them uh, healthier and um, really what we're trying to do with the help of you and others is get the word out you know that you know we will help support you from a financial perspective to work within these communities we're just looking for bright ideas and bright people um, again to help us solve some of these challenges. And you're talking about working in the communities what kind of organizations that will qualify uh, for this particular uh, for the grants and how will the uh, local communities uh, be helping out from that? Sure so any nonprofit any 501c3 from um, community-based organizations, maybe faith-based organizations, folks in academics and research, you know, anyone who is in the nonprofit area can apply. You know, and then once those folks apply and you know, if they come up with the good ideas that work, then we'll help fund them to, to help make these communities healthier. Dr. Graham, we all appreciate what you're doing, your work, and the folks from Aetna as well. Thank you so much, and have a great holiday season, sir. Thank you for having me. Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas. And we've got more after the break, so please stay with us.